welcome to class students in this class we are going to discuss module 5 logic synthesis with verilog htl in module 5 we also discuss useful modeling techniques we first begin with a logic synthesis with verilog htl what is logic synthesis logic synthesis is a process of converting high level description of the design into an optimized gate level representation given a standard cell library and certain design constraints a standard cell library which is also known as technological library can have simple cells such as basic logic gates like and or nor or macro cells such as adders muxes and flip flops logic synthesis always existed even in the days of schematic gate level design but it was always done inside a designer's mind the designer first understand architectural description then he would consider the design constraints such as timing area stability and power the designer would partition design into high level blocks draw them on a piece of paper or a computer terminal and describe the functionality of the circuit this was the high level description finally each block would be implemented on a hand drawn schematic using the cells in the standard cell library the last step was the most complex process in the design flow and required several time consuming design iterations before an optimized gate level representation that met all design constraints was obtained a designer's mind as the logic synthesis tool the advent of computer aided logic synthesis tools has automated the process of converting the high level description to logic gates instead of trying to perform logic synthesis in their minds designers can now concentrate on architectural trade offs high level description of the design accurate design constraints and optimization of cells in the standard cell library these are fed to the computer aided logic synthesis tool which performs several iterations internally and generates the optimized gate level description also instead of drawing high level description on a screen or piece of paper designers describe the high level design in terms of hdls verilog hdl has become one of the popular hdls for writing high level descriptions you can observe here architectural description it is divided into partition as high level blocks a designer mind taking design constraints like area timing power into consideration also technological library which target device we are selecting based on that gate level representation is generated uh, and then it is checked whether it meets a design constraints finally if it meets design constraints an optimized gate level representation is obtained so to to meet the design constraints it takes several iterations to get an optimized gate level repre representation earlier it was done on a piece of paper or on a screen now all these steps are automated on computer aided design tool here high level blocks are written with the help of verilog hdl or one more uh, familiar coding language vhdl and then uh, getting optimized gate level representation it is left with the tool tool will generate an optimized uh, gate level representation from the uh, verilog hdl description that we have written as high level blocks and the synthesized gate level network here uh, we have discussed uh, in this uh, 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 class it is based on synopsis synthesis products the results of for individual examples may vary with synthesis tools 
as you change synthesis tool for the same HDL description the generated gate level network is it may be different. Now we see in next slide a basic computer aided logic synthesis process. Architectural description then high level description we are writing in HDL without bothering about the target uh, device that you are implementing. So HDLs are technology uh, independent, they are not dependent on any technology, particular technology or target device or the tool that you are using. So it is technology independent. So without bothering about which target device we are going to use for programming at the later stages, we can write the coding in higher level HDL descriptions. Then now the designer's mind is replaced by computer aided logic synthesis tools. So this uh, high level description we are feeding it to a computer aided logic synthesis tools. Now the job of this uh, logic synthesis tool is to consider based on design constraints and standards and library it is going to generate an optimized gate level netlist. It takes uh, several iterations uh, uh, in earlier uh, representation when a designer is involved uh, manually uh, on piece of paper or a computer screen the blocks that when he is developing it takes a lot of iterations to meet the design constraints whereas here in single iteration you will get optimized gate level netlist. And that, uh, this optimized gate level netlist is generated by a computer aided logic synthesis. It depends on generation depends on design constraints and uh, the technology dependent library. At this stage we are selecting which is the target device uh, on which we are uh, able to uh, dump the uh, HDL description or high level description written. If it meets the constraints then uh, further steps place and route mapping uh, means actual on target device you are implementing your uh, design. Not all constructs can be used when writing description for logic synthesis tools. In general, any construct that is used to define a cycle by cycle RTL description is acceptable to the logic synthesis tool. Here one more important thing, RTL description means uh, the mixing of data flow and behavioral description and writing the code, we refer it as RTL description. Now the code has to, the high level blocks written in HDLs need to be converted into gate level network and that is done by a logic synthesis tool. The code that we are referring, uh, written we refer it as RTL description. The list of constructs that are typically accepted by logic synthesis tools are given in table. The capabilities of individual logic synthesis tools may vary, the constructs that are typically acceptable to logic synthesis tools are also shown. Remember that we are providing cycle by cycle RTL description of the circuit. Hence there are restriction on the way these constructs are used for the logic synthesis tool. It is recommended that all signal widths, variable widths be explicitly specified. Defining unsized variables can result in large gate level netlists because synthesis tools can infer unnecessary logic based on the variable definition. Verilog HTL synthesis, Verilog constructs if you observe, ports, keywords used here are input, in out and output, parameters, keyword, parameter, module definition, keyword used here is module in Verilog signals and variable here wire register and tri state vectors are also allowed instantiation module instances and primitive gate instances module instances means user defined modules okay a gate level uh, implementation for example if you are implementing full adder as a top level module half adder can be a lower level module the half adder module 
it acts as module instance need to be defined and in that case you need an or gate which is primitive gate instance in this example my mux m1 is a module instance nand is a primitive means readily available with the tool nand out so when you are using primitive gates already defined gates with the tool output need to be written first then followed by inputs here in this case nand out first a comma b it acts as two input nand gate if i write a comma b comma c then it will act as a three input nand gate based on your requirement you can use primitive gate instances as well as module instances within the coding those need to be converted into a gate level network functions and task so with keyword function and task we are writing function can return one value task can return more than one value and uh, functions and task within that timing constructs if any delays are mentioned those delays are ignored in uh, in the process of synthesis delays are not so for delays hardware is not generated Synth uh, delays are ignored in case of synthesis procedural always if then else case case x case z okay these are keywords procedural statements allowed for or these constructs are allowed for uh, gate level netlist con conversion by synthesis tool initial statement is not supported if you want to include uh, uh, initialize variables then you have to use a reset mechanism within the coding with the help of reset mechanism the ports can be initialized procedural blocks begin end named blocks disable disabling of named blocks is allowed data flow keyword assign data flow statements like keyword assign are also allowed but the delay information mentioned in assignment statement it is ignored loops for while forever these are allowed these constructs are allowed while and forever loops must contain at pause edge of clock or at negative edge of clock when you need to convert into synthesis or gate level network verilog operators almost all operators in verilog are allowed for logic synthesis operators include arithmetic logical relational equality bitwise reduction shift concatenation conditional all these operators can be readily converted into a gate level network interpretation of few verilog constructs having described the basic verilog construct let us try to understand how logic synthesis tools frequently interpret or understand these constructs and translate them to a logic gates the assign statement the assign construct is the most fundamental construct used to describe combinational logic at an rtl level given below is a logic expression that uses assign statement if you consider this example assign out within parenthesis a and b the output of a and b is odd with c this will frequently translate to the following gate level representation so operators used here is a and b and two input and gate is generated and then output of and gate is odd with uh, one more input c so the output of and gate is odd with c one more or gate is inferred so arithmetic uh, this uh, logical operators are readily converted into gates here that we can see here if a b c and out are two bit vectors then the above assign statement will frequently translate to the two identical circuits for each bit we consider here a same expression assign out equal to a and b or c only change here is a b and c as well as output or vectors now then the above assign statement will frequently translate to two identical circuits for each bit so here you can observe a of 
is ended with b of 0 and it is odd with c of 0 and this is assigned to out of 0. Even though no doubt we have written only one statement, it uh, the translator or logic synthesis tool converts into two identical circuits. In the second circuit you can observe again same block out 1 is output A1 and B1 odd with C1. Since uh, A, B, C and out are two bit vectors, it will generate two identical circuits for each bit out 0 and out 1 by considering A of 0, B of 0 and C of 0 for out 0, A of 1, B of 1 and C of 1 for out 1. So the same expression is understood by logic synthesis tool in this way. Thank you students, we will continue in next class.